Good morning, this is Mark Millette coming to you again from Bucharest, Romania with Morning Mana. Here's some more of that song that the Lord gave me. Listen, it goes like this. Ooh, hallelujah, worship His majesty. For three days and three nights, then He was free. Defeated Satan, death, hell, and He took the keys. Every knee shall bow to that name. Every tongue will loudly proclaim that Jesus Christ, King of King and Lord of Lords. So I want to go back and talk to you just a little bit more about my experience in salvation and how that God saves folks from sin. Number one, He always deals with them about their sin and about the Word of God. The Bible tells us that it's the goodness of God that leadeth a man to repentance. You know, I tried many things to get saved before, especially when I got in trouble and I thought the police were going to get me. I'd make all kinds of deals with God. Oh, I remember once, one time my grandmother was in a hospital dying and um, her name was Mimi, in, uh, or Menem, her, her name was Menem. And, and I said, oh Lord, I said, please, I told God, oh God, don't let her die. If you don't let her die, I promise you I'm going to do right, get right, and go to church and all this stuff. Well, that stuff worked for about two days, and after that, I was back in the same old thing I was in before. But one day, I seen myself as a sinner. I seen myself that I was the one. It was my sins that put those nails through his hands. It was my wicked thoughts and dirty mind that put that crown of thorns on his head. And it was my the disobedience and rebellion and transgressions that he was beaten with that whip across his back and beat in the fist and jerked his beard out and spit on him it was because of my shame and all the things I had done. And uh, I can think, how would God love a sinner like me, an old wretch like me? Like that song goes, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. The saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. You see, every man that's born in the flesh, born from his parents, he's born dead. The Bible says we, died, we were dead spiritually. And he says in Ephesians, And you hath he quickened or made alive who were dead in trespasses and sin. So Jesus Christ came, the last Adam, to give us life. And the moment that he draws you and you know he's talking to you, and you open your heart up and you say, Yes, Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. But I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe He died for me. I believe He rose again after three days and three nights. And that He's alive right now. And Lord Jesus, here's my heart. I'm going to give to you. I'll make a vow with you. Just like when I got married, I made a vow. You know? And they asked me, he said, uh, Mr. Millette, said, write your name in this book. I'll write my name down in that book. And it was over here in Romania and my wife and... Uh, we were, we were, we got married, you know, we've been married for, I don't know, 20 years. I don't know how, how long we've been married. I guess I, I need to know, huh? But I, we got married and um, my son, I have a son that's 19, 18 years old. And, uh, but when I remember when I got married, they said, do you take this woman? They told me, I said, yes, I take her for death, do his part. I made a vow with her, not just a ring on my finger, not just my name in a book, but in my heart. I said, this is it. I think I receive her. I wouldn't be my she, she said the same for me. So we made a vow, and it's the same way when I got saved. I looked down at the ground. I looked up at heaven. I looked back down. looked at the clouds. I said, yes, Lord. By faith, here's my heart. I give it to you. Come in my heart and save me. I know I'm a sinner. I know I deserve to die and go to hell. But I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And I believe you died on that cross for my sins. And now I'm inviting you, Lord Jesus, to come in my heart and save me. Make me a new me. Come in my heart and save me. I don't care about dying today. I don't care about it. I just want to be forgiven. And you know what, folks? He saved me that day by faith. I received him as my Lord. I went home back to the room, and those guys were, here, yeah, Mark, you want to He said, hey, you want to hit? You want to take it? I said, no, I don't want any more of that stuff. I don't need any more of it because I'm born again. I'm saved. I know the Lord Jesus Christ. And he saved me, and I've never regretted it. I wish I got saved when I was 15 or 10 years old, if I could. I was 23 when I met the Lord, and it's been a romance ever since. So I want to thank you for watching today and tomorrow. Uh, now, I should be in the States by this time, so if you'll call me uh, or write me at Romania77, 
gmail at gmail.com. I'll respond to you, and I might be close to where you're at right now because I'll be, in the month of June, I will be in uh, the United States traveling. God bless you, and thank you for praying for us and supporting us. In Jesus' name, amen.